All right, we are heading south into the heart of the Cascade Mountain Range, just south of Mount Rainier to the most beautiful autocross site in the country. That is the Hampton Mills in Packwood, Washington. This weekend we'll be racing at Northwest Region SCCA event number four and number five of the Northwest Region Championship Series. Number four is going to be on Saturday and number five is going to be on Sunday as I race to compete for the championship in open packed class with the best of the best of the Northwest Region. This is actually our second time back at Packwood since my last video. The first time was event number three which had the weather forecast as being really, really, really shitty. So we ended up taking my co-driver Dan's Model 3 performance out there instead of running my 370Z, which turned out to probably be a bad choice in that situation because it was actually way nicer than what it was forecast. You know, it still rained here and there a little bit. I think we would have been better off with the Z in that situation. This weekend, however, was fairly crazy in the weather department. So it'd be wet, it'd be dry, it'd be wet, it'd be dry, the sun would come out, then a downpour. It was nuts. How good you did in a run group depended highly on where you were in the grid. In this video, I'll be showing you my fastest runs from each day. Then I'll be going over the runs and analyzing them. Showing you exactly what my thought process was on these runs, what my strategy was, how I was able to squeeze out as much time as I possibly could out of them and my overall approach with autocrossing in general. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Alright, here we have Saturday, event number four, and this is my fourth and final run, which is my fastest. This run actually doesn't count, um, only the first three count uh, when you run in open packs with Northwest Region to kind of align with national rules since you only get three runs at those events. So it is what it is, some of us agree, some of us don't, but we just kind of go with it. Uh, in this first section, we got a fairly tight section. Uh, we got a tight left-hander followed by a tight right-hander and I could take all of that in first gear so I do that all right so you can see I got my nice big cursor now right here for you guys to see uh, I just try to modulate my throttle in first gear a little harder to modulate than it is in second but you definitely get a lot more oomph coming out of a tight corner so I just try to maintain no wheel spin at that first little part uh, just so I don't kick out the rear end and I do the same right here I'm gonna try to keep a tight line around these cones right here and try to get a quick little shoot out of it back on the gas grabbing for second and now you can see I'm entering the slalom right here. So I got a big one, two, three, four, maybe five cone slalom. Um, and I'm going to enter it in on the right side right here. So I'm going to try to turn around this cone and get this corner done before I even get to it. So I try to make a smooth shift so I don't 
you know spin the tires too much kick the rear end out which is kind of easy to do with a big heavy flywheel car like mine um but we'll see if i get right around this so you can see i entered it i uh buy that cone right now i'm already going the direction i kind of wanted to go and so i'm going to try to maintain an early line through all these so i'm gonna try to backside these cones and as you watch this you can see i kind of fail at it a little bit i get a little behind and so i try to quick up quicken up my hands just a little bit to try to catch up and it results in the car does stick to the line uh you see the rear end kick out just a little bit but it doesn't really affect me that much so i think it was like the third or fourth cone you could kind of see the rear end kick out right there okay so now we got a big uh right hand sweeper right here so we're going through these these gates right here is a gate there a cone out here and then a gate way out there it's a fairly quick sweeper too um and it's pretty open there's a gate right here as well that uh is basically going to be my focus eventually uh but it's a fairly quick quick sweeper let's see where i'm at right now i'm at about 55 miles an hour and i'm going to try to maintain that speed right here all the way out into these gates over here so i'm going to let my momentum carry me to the left you can see i'm further closer to this cone than i am to that cone i'm trying to maintain a left position right here in order to backside this cone right here this is the cone i'm looking at right here so i'm going to try to backside it so let's see where i actually start entering my corner i start adding steering input to go around this cone right there so you can see i just added steering input going around this cone that way i can try to stay early on this and backside it and this cone right here i am actually ignoring so i've never of all my previous runs i never got close to this cone so i don't plan on it i'm mostly focusing on that cone right there that is the first cone on the left side of this three gate shoot so that's the one i want so i want to turn early on this one try to backside it and then i'm going to do the same for this one if i do that correctly i can accelerate fairly quickly out of this because there's a fairly fast section coming up see nowhere near that cone right there and now i'm setting up right here so you can see I'm going by this cone. This is the cone I want. And then there's a slight ridge right here that's going to kind of give me a mom uh, momentary loss of traction. But I don't think it's that much to really worry about because it's so fast afterwards. So let's move up a forward a little bit. And now you can see what I got coming up. So I've got almost a straightaway. You look, there's a cone. There's some gate coney thing. Another gate right there. But you can see my line. It's a straight shot right here. So it's a fairly quick section. This from here. To here I could just accelerate and I want to focus on this cone so I'm going to stick close to this one but I'm going to turn around this cone because you can see the gate that I go to after it so I want to get close to this one backside that one all right I'm approaching this one right here what I'm going to do I left a break so I'm going to give a quick jab at a break just try to get a little front end traction on this to get a little more bite to get around this and then i can kind of accelerate right here so we're going through this gate right here and then there's a gate right there that's the next one that we're going after so it's a quick this is the sharper part right here so we have to do a quick little break backside this cone then get back on this is on a little crest but i don't think it's that big a deal because it kind of opens up a little bit so sharp there sharp there uh, I want to go over the speed of my hands on this. So if you watch my hands, my hands actually go pretty quickly uh, when it comes to the steering you put on this car. Fast there, fast there. So my rule of thumb is if the stiffer the stiffer the car is, the faster your hands can be. So if you're driving a stock vehicle, I think you need to slow your hands down a little bit. I've seen a lot of people you know steer too quickly with a stock vehicle and they end up overloading the suspension a lot of times in my case i'm in a street touring car so i have like 18k springs uh so it's not that big of a deal on mine um so you can see i have fast hands uh when it comes to driving this car i'm going to set this up i'm going to try i'm mostly focusing on this i don't really need to get close to these cones i mainly want to get to this cone and then connect it with i think it's this cone right there that you can kind of see just over my mirror uh, but i want to kind of connect this and make it a smooth sweeper all the way around so not close to that not close to this one focusing on this one trying to get close to that one and then connecting it to this one and trying to get the turn done before i even uh get to it so i can already be entering 
and exiting this direction so i'm going to focus on this right here fast forward a little bit you can see we're going to turn around this cone and then turn around that cone i know as walking and running with packwood in packwood for uh decades now that there's a nice little ridge right here so we got to keep that in mind uh, but we're going to turn around this one and then try to set up for this one you can see i'm not going directly at it i'm adding a little bit of buffer right here and i'm not getting on the gas too early i'm going to try to turn around this one and clear that cone right there but once again there's this this little line where it gets brighter right here that is a ridge so it's a slight little crest that we're gonna have to drive over it might get a momentary uh drop in traction uh, but you can kind of see it doesn't really affect me that much it actually i think does kick out my rear end just a little bit but that's not a big deal um anyway i'm already set clearing this cone you can see the center line of my vehicle if you look up these nice little stitches right here it looks like it's going to clear this cone and then if we look ahead we got to go around this cone and then we go into a three cone slum so it's one cone two cone and i think that's the third cone and a little blurry mess right there um and so what i want to try to do is i want to try to clear this clear that i want to try to maintain a good momentum coming around here uh, but ultimately i don't want to push myself out too far but i'm also trying not to reduce my momentum too much to try to get to this cone it would be nice to get this cone but it's not my ultimate goal uh in my previous runs i realized it's kind of impossible to get to this thing if you try to set this right but um if you do drive at this a uh, fairly decent pace you still have enough time to get back over to, to try to accelerate from here through this cone and all the way to the sharp corner that's going to come up up here so knowing that i don't try to get to this cone i'm going to try to take a tight line but i'm not gonna give up speed to get to this cone around this i'm going to accelerate through all this you see quick acceleration into here and now we're coming up to a fairly sharp fairly uh heavy braking zone so what i'm doing here you can see me i set my car up i use that momentum of my car that i just gained right there to set myself up, self up to the right right here so i'm getting close to the, these cones right here and then i'm going to use that to try to basically carry a little better momentum around this uh, sharper left hander right here i'm gonna try to stay close to these cones right here these three and then try to accelerate out early because i know as i walked and all my previous runs that there's a fairly quick uh acceleration point right after this so i'm patient 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 getting on the gas trying to get on the gas but i'm also trying not to you know do massive oversteer drift or anything like that um so trying to get on the gas early um and then we're gonna go through this little gate right here into a very sharp c box coming up so let's get closer to that all right so we're gonna end up downshifting into first on this because of the c box the c box the way it's configured right now you gotta you're coming in at an angle and then you're gonna shoot back out of it almost at 180 degree angle from where we're entering it right now so that kind of makes it a decreasing radius turn um, you'll kind of see if you watch the video for tomorrow, it does the opposite. Uh, but in this case, decreasing radius turn, usually in this car, I don't have to downshift in anything because it most of the time it has enough torque to get out of something. But in this situation, it's just too tight right here. Too, uh, we had to slow down so much to get out of this thing. So you, I kind of had no choice to down and just had to downshift. So it's going to be hard on the brakes. You can see I kind of set up to close to this cone, but I'm going to get hard on the brakes. I'm going to grab first gear. Um, luckily, my car auto blips for me, so I don't have to do it. It makes it a little easier. Um, but I'm going to turn right around that cone. I'm going to try to get around the backside of that cone, which is kind of hard to do when you're coming into it so fast. But I was able to kind of get there. Get the corner done. Now you were coming out of it. You can see I'm starting to get on the gas now in first gear. And we got a gate here and then an optional three cone slalom into a gate out here somewhere. So the optional slalom, what we're going to do is we're going to enter in on the right side. Makes it just a quick in and out. Um, as opposed to going the other side, we got to go out, in, out, in, all that stuff. And we don't want to do that. So we're entering on the right side. Makes it a lot easier. I shoot out of here, get a smooth shift into the second as clunky as my transmission is and try to carry some speed out here 
you can see I could go flat through that that slalom there and now we're coming up to this gate right here and then the next cone is going to be this little pointer cone right out here so we have to carry our momentum around here so find that good speed and good line you can see I have to make some minor adjustments here mid as I approach this cone right here uh, to try to stay close to it um, ultimately I would like to make it a smooth arc all the way around but it's kind of hard to do when you're coming into it so fast and it's such a big corner so you can see I make some corrections with the steering right there just to try to time it right to get by this cone and as we go here you can see oh, there's the first finish cone right there so I'm trying to accelerate accelerate so I honestly want to be right at those cones and like clear them uh, with just a uh, as close as possible but it's kind of hard to time your acceleration just right so ultimately I don't quite get there I kick out a little bit um, and probably lose a little bit of time right there but not too much and that is the run right there so that would be good enough if it had counted it would have been good enough to take the win in open packs uh, unfortunately it didn't but that was good enough for second highest in packs for the day i think a evx car got me beat here uh in the next run uh session so unfortunately so that is day one and now we're gonna show you the video for day two on sunday event number five Now we're at Sunday, event number five. This is my fourth and fastest run. Once again, a run that doesn't count. I ended up fourth in this one. I think if all runs counted, I would have been third in this situation. Um, probably behind a bunch of SSC cars because SSC packs is terrible. Anyway, on with the show. So we got our course from Saturday going backwards. And so we have a kind of a similar first corner which is a first gear pull into second gear this time a lot earlier but once again we got a modulate throttle in first gear to make this left-hander so let's see how it goes all right making a shift trying to be smooth on the shift there's a cone right here i'm about to drive by we go through a gate right here and then we're entering our first cone that was shared from yesterday which is that one over there it is also way out there compared to this gate so it was really easy saw a lot of people making a mistake of slowing down as they come through this gate then realizing they have to go out here and a lot of people kind of screwed up this corner so we're gonna carry our speed through this gate and now we're gonna after this cone I'm gonna focus way ahead probably looking through my a pillar for that gate right there there's the gate we want so that gate is way out there which means we can get on gas pretty early and use our momentum try to push ourselves out there and if we go a little further we can see we go into the slalom right here so it's a three cone slalom this game 
this slalom was optional yesterday today it's mandatory that we have to enter it on the left side no big deal um but we're gonna accelerate as hard as we can through this gate into the slalom and almost flat through this until we hit our break zone way up there so let's see if i get flat i don't remember if i did or not Ah, oh, it's a little lift there at the end. Uh, but we're coming in, coming in hot, probably close to 65 miles an hour. And we're going to run into our brakes really hard on here. All right, we downshifted yesterday into first gear. In this situation, we don't have to because yesterday it was a, it was a decreasing radius turn. Today, it's an increasing radius turn, which means we don't have to accelerate out of it as quick. So I end up keeping second gear through this corner and just opted to get on the gas a little earlier all right straight away right here into this corner right here also holding second gear on this uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to stay tight so there's these cones right here this cone right here i want to try to maintain a a uh, left side entry and then stay tight around these final few cones because if we get up to right here, there's this wall right here. This is the wall that we're gonna always, uh, that's always gonna force us in. Uh, because after this, it is very straight, very fast. But because this wall is here, it prevented us from getting on the gas as early as we all wanted to. And so we had to maintain this cone right here, how we went by this cone. Uh, we wanted to backside this cone, it allowed us to get on the gas earlier. So essentially, you want to late apex this corner. If the later you apex it, the earlier you can get on the gas. And you can see big straightaway. So, well, kind of straightaway, curve away. Anyway, through the gate right here into some offsets over here. It's kind of a three cone slalom, kind of. Didn't really drive like one, but it is. Anyway, so we're going over the first one. We're going to backside that first one. We're going to backside this one. It's over a crest right here. You can see the little ridge, um, but it's still my car stayed pretty planted. So it ended up getting a lot of traction. It's pretty quick. So what I ended up doing, I think I just do a quick tap of the brake with my left foot just to try to transfer a little bit of weight on the tires and then get back on it. Same right here, quick, quick on the brake and try to turn. It's a fairly quick section. Um, I, you can see I'm I am rounding these corners off, but I'm not adding excessive dif excessive distance to try to enter. You see a lot of people, they'll come way out here and they'll start turning right here. Um, I don't go way out here. I stay maintain a fairly tight line. I will add a little bit of distance. You can see my distance right here. So I guess the edge of my car would probably be, if you look at the right side, would probably be like right here. So I'm adding a little distance right here. And then I'm going to turn a little earlier. Um, but I'm not adding a lot. I try to keep the course short. All right, trying to clear this cone right here. We do, and then back on it right here. And we're going to try to backside this one. You can see I'm not really backside as well as I want to. Uh, but not a terrible deal because we're going to try to wash ourselves out after this one right here. Because we don't need to necessarily backside this one. So I'm getting around there car does turn pretty well and then you can see i'm not backsiding this one at all i'm saying i'm letting myself wash out for the big left hand sweeper coming up all right big sweeper trying to create a smooth arc get around minor adjustment there at the end to add a little more steering input but not a big deal so uh usually the less adjustment i do in a corner like that the better i took the corner so that's actually not too bad then we're going to get on the gas again through these gates right here and then we're going to go through a gate right here over the crest. Kind of a similar situation over here, except we're doing it over here now. We're going to drive over the crest. You can see we can enter that crest pretty quickly. And then we got to do like a quick little... I I don't even think you needed a break right here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I did just to, once again, transfer a little weight. To try to keep the car in line where I want it. And then I'm back on the gas right here. So you can see, once again, a straight line right here. These cars, cones don't even matter. This, this puddle right here, that puddle was a little bigger when we first started. And I was kind of debating whether, to, while we're walking, whether to take a wide line to just try to avoid it. Because I think we probably could have. But once we got racing, like, I started ignoring it because it got smaller and smaller. 
and to the point where it wasn't really affecting anything now all right back into this three cones shoot it's over a little crest i'm going to turn around this cone once again this is the same cone i tried to turn around the previous day and i'm going to turn around it going this way as well we're going to try to get close to this cone i don't think we're going to get there though but that's all right we mostly want to set up on the next gate right there focusing on this left cone on it so over the crest all right around the sweeper now so the sweeper is a little i would say difficult going this way than it was going the other way the other way you're kind of going slow entering and accelerating out of it this one we're kind of going in fast and we got to slow down and this section of packwood is by far probably the worst part of the pavement um there's never any good traction out here so we just kind of deal with it you see i'm entering in i'm trying to clear these cones trying to get basically on that uh left row of, or sorry right row of cones over here on this little three gate shoot and then we're gonna enter a slalom afterwards optional slalom on this one so we had a choice going left or right in this situation i opted to get the very fast entry and carry my speed that extra cone into here Getting a little sideways. You can see I got a little sideways. Carried a little too much speed into it, but that's not a big deal. Usually my car just slides out a little bit, which actually probably is beneficial. Um, so it, um, able to carry a decent speed on there, even though it looks like I'm almost about to lose it. All right, we're going to go into this jumbled mess, which is kind of hard to see where we're at right now. But that's the last cone of the slalom, and then we go through this gate, looks like right here. All right, now that we actually get closer to it, we can actually see what the hell's going on. We got this gate right here into a right uh right hander after the gate and then a very sharp left hander and i kind of thought about going in the first on this one but i decided not to um instead i decided to take a tight line and just try to get on the gas early and use second gear torque to try to kick the rear end out a little bit which as you can see right here coming up that i probably do a little more than i wanted to but not a big deal once again like it's usually okay to kick a rear end out on a rear wheel drive car like this um is if you don't exit your race line and if you don't have to let off because of it um then it's usually okay to actually have a little bit of drift here and there uh, but you, like once again you don't want it to take you off your race line and you don't want to have to release throttle input in order to save it so if you can maintain throttle and stay on your race line usually a drift is okay and that would be it so there is my fastest run run number four like i said that was good for i think would have been third in class but i ended up fourth and i think it was overall packs i think was third overall with that one once again behind some soft ssc cars stupid ssc all right, that's it. That's my recap, and I hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe, all that goody, good, good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.